Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about five steps on how to survive a breakup. Uh, hello, hello, to... Muslims are now dating. Whether we like it or not, the reality is that a lot of you guys out there have gotten yourself into some trouble by getting into a haram relationship. And now that the haram relationship is over and you've broken up with them, you are a complete and utter mess. So this video is going to be talking about how you can survive that process. Five steps on understanding what's actually happening with you. But before we continue with this video, I need you to smash this video with a huge thumbs up and I need you to subscribe to this channel as well. If you aren't already doing this, please make sure you follow me on my Instagram page. I'm posting daily Islamic reminders every single day that are exclusive to Instagram. I know you will certainly benefit from. I'd also like to give you guys a huge shout out for all the love and support that you've given me to my OG subscribers out there supporting me from the go. I appreciate you. And to all my new subscribers out there, Welcome to the channel. How to survive a breakup. Let's first talk about why is it tough to get over. You've literally imagined an entire life with this person. You've imagined a future with this person and your brain doesn't know the difference between reality and fiction and just imagery. You've imagined an entire complete life with this person. You've put so much trust into this person and into this relationship. Perhaps you've done some things that you only wanted to do with one person in your entire life. You've saved yourself for and now you're crying because you realize that this person broke your trust and now you've broken up with them. Your Expectations are now broken because you don't have that future with them. Hence, you are in turmoil and in complete disarray. So the first step to survive this breakup is to understand that this is all a part of the Qadr and plan of Allah. You have to accept the fact that this was all designed by the Qadr and plan of Allah to make you into a better human being. Yes, the decisions were yours, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew you'd be making these decisions. And this is what's going to make you into a better human being, whether you like it or not. And I'm here to speak to you from personal experience that if it was wasn't for me breaking up with my ex and you could check out with that video right here I wouldn't be who I am today so if I can get over such a process and know that this process actually brought me closer to Allah and helped me draw closer to Allah then I'm sure you're gonna be able to survive as well as long as you understand and accept that this is all part of the plan and qadr of Allah the second step to surviving this breakup is knowing that you can't control anyone but yourself oftentimes we try to control the situation by controlling the other person and how they feel and if they're about to break up with us and we feel and get that sense and that tension in the air that they're about to break up with you, we try to control the situation and control them by maybe even convincing them to stay with us. But remember something, you have no control over anyone except yourself. Even on the day of judgment, anyone who has led you astray, they're going to be going away from you. You're not going to be wanting to associate with anyone and no one will be wanting to associate with you as well. So just remember something that you are in full control of your life and by relying on the plan of Allah and the Qadr of Allah and putting your best foot forward forward, if you put genuine control and sincerity with your relationship with Allah, if that's all you can control, you'll have a better chance of surviving this breakup. You can't control what they feel and how they feel towards you and what they're going to do next, but you can control how you react and respond to this breakup. Step number three on surviving this breakup. Your value is not determined by someone else's opinion. Oftentimes when we get broken up with, we feel as if we're not worthy of love or we're not worthy at all because they might say some harsh things to you that may or may not be true. But remember something, someone Someone else's opinions about you do not define who you are as a person. They might say some harsh things to you about maybe your skin color, your weight, maybe your acne or something. And they will just try to justify why they're breaking up with you. But the truth is that they're on their own spiritual journey and you're on your own as well too. Things aren't matching and aligning right now and hence this breakup has taken place. The last thing that you need to do is think that you're not adequate enough or you're not deserving enough or you don't deserve love because that's not true. They're just going through something right now and they need some time to themselves to figure figure things out and you're going through something as well right now and you need some time to figure things out. Take this as Allah's way of telling you that there's a lot more spiritual self-exploration that needs to take place before you can actually find your better half and understand that yes the other person completes half of your deen but you gotta have the first five pillars in order first to even be qualified to complete the other half of that deen. So get yourself right, get your mind right, get your relationship with Allah right before you even try to seek out a partner. Step number four in surviving this breakup. Understand that this is Allah's way to help you grow into a better person. Whatever you go through, you grow through. So if you are surviving this breakup right now, just know that you are growing into a better person. And the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala scripted you to grow and become a better person was through this trial and tribulation, through this fitna, that essentially you put yourself in yourself. Now by getting through this trial, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is strengthening you, strengthening your iman, strengthening your spirituality, and essentially strengthening your relationship with him as well. When time has passed and you are reflecting over your life, 
life like I'm doing right now, you'll realize that that ex of yours was the greatest blessing that you'll ever have because without that ex, you would never have been propelled to seek and draw closest to Allah. That amount of tears that you're spending right now, crying over them, turn those tears around and turn the intentions of those tears around and make it for the sake of Allah and understand that you've deprived Allah of the true relationship that really matters. The real relationship that completes you inside and that's your connection and link with Allah. So turn back to Allah and use this as an opportunity to understand that Allah is helping you grow and draw closest to Him. The fifth and final strategy to survive this breakup is to trust completely the plan of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has scripted your life in such a beautiful way that this is all a part of His plan to help you draw closest to Him. That He knew that this was the only way to wake you up and talk some sense into you to really make a better connection and relationship with Him. So trust the plan of Allah that everything is going to be okay. Have a positive opinion about yourself. Have a positive opinion about Allah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you. This was Allah's way of getting you out of that haram relationship and helping you survive and getting into a more positive one. The person that's really out there for you, that's made for you, the one who's really going to complete you, is out there somewhere. And guess what? This person was not that one. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala broke that relationship up because they weren't good for you. And it's your time to understand and trust the plan of Allah. That everything's going to be okay. And once you complete your half of the deen, the next half is coming on its way. Now that was the video, guys. That was my five steps on how to survive a breakup. Tell me in the comment section below if you benefited from this. And if you have another tip that I missed out, tell me in the comment section below. Drop me some feedback. I would love to connect with you guys in the comment section below. And remember, I read and respond to every single comment. So truly looking forward to connecting with you all. I appreciate you taking your time, effort, and energy to watch this video. If you benefited from this video, please smash this video with a huge thumbs up. And please make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. And until next time, I'm out.